I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. This is, uh, you know, in that last little catch and cook video I did on the beach, kind of mentioned that, you know, it was going to be a two part series. Well, this is part two of that. This is the full day of fishing where y'all get to see all the catches and everything. And uh, let me say, it was it was a good day. The redfish were definitely active for me. Uh, you know, this today I was looking mainly for some big trout. I had seen some big trout there previous days and was just kind of looking for those, trying to figure them out. But the uh, the redfish kind of stole the show. Did end up getting a, you know a couple trout at the end, but uh, but it was definitely a redfish show. But y'all have to stick tuned to see all that. It was, uh, but like I said, it was a good day. Did some different things. Kind of. Kind of was able to attack the creek a little bit different than uh, than how I normally do, but but like I said, y'all have to stay tuned for that. But uh, if you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, surf fishing trip, boat fishing trip, any kind of fishing trip along the Alabama Gulf Coast, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com, or you can check out Whistling Waters on the Fish and Chaos app, and I can get y'all taken care of. But I'm not going to hammer on too long. We're going to jump into the video. We're going to get straight into the action, so y'all stick with it. All right, all right. You're out here now. So I'm doing a little creek fishing today. You can tell I'm right here at the mouth of the creek. I found me a nice little sandbar. Uh, one thing we have today, water is extremely low. Uh, low tides here in about uh, two hours. And on top of that, we've had some north winds past couple days, some cold fronts and you know, just the winter time tide. So water's real low, but kind of what that causes in these creeks, you get these areas like right out here in front of me, you got this big bend and you can kind of see the water uh, color change. And that's just a good drop off there. Um, so you get a little bit deeper water, you know, it's not it's not crazy deep, but it is a little bit deeper. And a lot of times you'll find trout hanging out in these holes. Uh, I was here a couple days ago running a trip. One of my customers decided to bring their own boat down and uh, we were back in here with their boat. And uh, as we were headed out, I uh, just to kind of uh, stand up and, you know, just, just see, cause the water's real clean right now. Just kind of wanted to see what I could see and in a lot of these holes there were some pretty nice specks hanging out and uh, so that's what I'm gonna kind of kind of start out doing this I got a few plans today I got some pretty cool in stock for you guys at the end if I can manage to catch a fish or two um, I'm gonna, gonna do another little catch and cook here on the beach for y'all but need the fish for that but I got a few things in my plan I, I wind up uh, hopefully in the day doing that catch and cook uh, but I'm going to look for a few different things. Like I said, I am going to start out kind of working these holes. It's uh, still kind of earlier in the morning, you know, about 8.30. And it got pretty chilly last night, um, you know, down into the 30s. So water temperature is very, very cold. Not sure exactly, but I'd say in the 50s probably. So it's real, real chilly. The fish are kind of sluggish, especially these trout. They're going to be kind of hanging out in these holes. But after I kind of work a few of these deeper holes, I got two or three of these I'm going to hit. I'm going to move up creek and uh, try to catch some redfish, do a little topwater red fishing. Just kind of starting out working this, uh, get this DOA, say, uh, DOA cow paddle tail. It's uh, kind of that, um, I guess you'd call it chicken on a chain color, but instead of that red tail, it's got a little bit of a chartreuse. But just running a very simple something that I can just kind of really bump the bottom work nice and slow like I said these fish are gonna be pretty sluggish right now so I gotta gotta give them something to they can you know kind of slowly eat got some jerk baits tied on too I might throw a little bit something that I can give some hard rips and some very dramatic pauses but I'm gonna start out with this paddle tail that's what we caught a couple caught a couple real nice trout on it the other day so but you got a strong falling tide right now. Like I said, high or low tides here in about two hours. <clears throat> got a little later start than I meant to, but at the same time, it was uh, you know 38 degrees at sunrise, so I don't think I necessarily needed to be out here right at first light. And I got all day, so.
Here he is. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. This is a trout. This is a dandy. Fighting like a trout. It's in the glare, so I can't really see. Still haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's red. There we go. First fish of the day. Nice muddy red fish. There we go. Nice. Not a bad one at all. Woo. Mud hole. Alrighty. Let's see if we can repeat that. It's laid up right there underneath where all those mullet were. Kind of right. It's like a little ditch right there. Right where it kind of funnels from the uh, the flat. We got a flat right here. It cuts into this deep ditch and he was laid up kind of right, right where that ditch starts. I'm really hoping to get a trout. That was what I, what I really wanted to cook. Realized I just made a, just realized I made a big mistake. Another thing I forgot, it's a fillet knife. Look, yeah, I got my, pocket knife and it's plenty sharp be a little bit interesting trying to clean that fish though there he is I think that's gonna be another red second red of the day now this one's a little bit smaller this is a lucky day he's gonna swim off not keeping any more reds but it did not take take long to get him there he goes did not take long to get him seems to be uh, slowing it down keeping it right on the bottom is the ticket so we're gonna keep doing that see what else we can find Kept hearing some commotion over here in the reeds. Wasn't real sure what I was hearing. It looks like there might be a buffalo head tangled up in the grass. Let's see if I can do this without this duck wearing me out. I'll try to do my good deed of the day. Of course he's diving down. Yeah, I know buddy, you're probably a little scared. I'm gonna try to help you out. I don't know what he could be stuck in. All right, buddy, I'm gonna save you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Not gonna hurt you. Let's see how I can do this. Some fishing line wrapped up in it. Poor guy. Looks like he ate a hook. I know that probably doesn't feel too good, buddy.
just saved this merganser. Unfortunately, it looks like he swallowed a hook, but I got him untangled at least. Let him go on his way. There he goes. All right, that has certainly been an eventful day so far. Got two reds, saved that merganser's life. But yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna push up um, and uh, try to go find that school I was talking about earlier. It's been a big school of redfish up here I've been on for a while. Um, just gonna, gonna go check out, you know, I was out here probably three days ago, got on them good. Pretty similar conditions today, and I got some trips coming up this weekend, so just wanted to come check on my pets, make sure everybody's still here. I tell you, this is one thing about this new canoe. I love get into these situations like this where it's a little, you know, a little shallow, especially out here today. It's, um, I mean, this water is about as low as you can get it right now. And with that PA, you know, I could paddle it if I needed to, but it was a, just a pill. This one, <clears throat> I can still, you know, paddle it and uh, move around pretty well. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bypass all this area. Like I said, I might float down a few of these sections on the way back, um, see if I can sight cast one or something. But really, I'm just, just wanting to see, I got, you know, I got a fish to cook. Water should be warming up where I can find those trout on the flats here soon. So I'm not really wanting to spend a whole lot more time back here. Uh, just want to make sure they're still home. But we're going to keep on moving. Like I said, we're going to go up this creek a little ways. And I will check back in in a minute. All right, we're coming up on where I normally run into the school. So let me go ahead and get situated. I think I may have actually already bumped them. They pushed some big head wakes right out here in front of me. Um, might have actually been them. It might actually be them right there. I'll try to try to stick one on top and then probably go to the sight cast in here shortly. Let's see if that's them right there. Right on top of them, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, there he is. He's on it. He's still on it. He's right underneath it. Oh, <laughs> that's annoying. They're here, though. Well, there he is. Oh, he got off. Here. Dang it. Oh, for two on him now. Come, got him that time. He didn't miss it that time. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh yeah, look at that one. Oh yeah, God, pretty one. Yeah, he ate every bit of that top water. 
That'll be fun unhooking. Look at that. God, that's a solid fish. No, 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 no. Stay out of that. I hate when they get to this part. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Oh, so good, so good. Let me get spun around here. Sorry, buddy, I hate to be that rough with you. All right, man, what a fish. That is a solid red. I got my board with me, we'll see what he goes. Twenty-seven and a quarter. That's a that's a healthy red. I noticed a lot of the ones I've been finding in here lately have all been like that. The schools. Some big, big fish. We'll get him out of here. Let him go catch up with his friends. See if I can't catch up with his friends too. That's why I love the reverse on this thing. Just throw her in reverse and back it on up. Let's get the grips in here so I don't get a hook in my hand. Come on. Open that mouth up. Hello, rat -a -tat. It's good to see those around though. You know there's more for the future. A pretty one nice blue tail on them all right well like i said it uh definitely turned out to be a good day ended up with 10 redfish and two specks uh didn't get everything on camera there towards the end i started running out of some battery i uh, gotta get some gotta get some more batteries gotta get some batteries from uh you know my seven and i also got a, got a new uh, gopro hero 11 for christmas this year so need to get some batteries for that so i can uh, definitely definitely stay out there recording a little bit longer but it turned out to be a great day like i said uh, the fish the fisher have been you know they were very very active for me the, uh today and uh, they've uh They've been like that for a while now. Um, it's just been a, been a good fall, winter, you know, kind of kind of this time of year. It's been real good for us for the redfish and everything. But uh, as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to shoot me the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed up. Make sure you ring that notification bell. I'm trying, like I said in the last video, I'm trying to pump out a lot more videos. That was kind of my, my uh, goal, my resolution going into this new year is to uh, just, just pump out some videos. So y'all make sure you're subscribed up. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, shoot me the thumbs up. And uh, yeah, like I said, I, I always appreciate all the support and everything. If you guys are interested in a guided fishing trip along the Alabama Gulf Coast, like I said earlier, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com. And I can definitely get you taken care of. But I think I'm going to go ahead and hop out of here. As always, like I said, uh, you know, a few times now, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I will catch you in the next one.